G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well it's Friday night here in Australia so I'm not going to take too long uh, on this video and there's not a whole lot of news going on at the moment anyway. But this is something that's really got my attention, Polkadot. So I've been interested uh, in this project for a little while now, not too long, I'm you know kind of new to it. Uh, I know it's been around since sort of 2017 and it's had a few issues but a lot of the kind of media traction it's getting at the moment has definitely uh, piqued my interest but there's something that's holding me back and it's this so Polkadot has risen by 120% in the last seven days so they have finally got their mainnet going and that's great excuse me and by the sounds of it everything that uh, Polkadot uh, has done and is doing it sounds like a pretty good project but something that's risen, risen by that much in the last seven days uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hesitant to jump on board uh, at the moment. I'm, you know, look, it could continue to go up. It could soar by a whole lot more than 120 percent. But you know, uh, there there were issues around Polkadot early on. A whole lot of uh, Ethereum uh, was lost, and they've been trying to get it back. It's stuck in a wallet that uh, they had the code for it uh, accidentally deleted by someone who was using the program. So yeah, there's things that. Uh, make me hesitant to jump on board that's one of them but it's more so this that price that's you know in seven days you know again this could do that again for the next seven days even more but at some stage it's gonna have a retracement and I would just hate to be getting in now and it have a big heavy retracement so we can go over here and have a look and polka dot where are we there we go number six here it says 96% now it did pull back in the last 24 hours a little bit but again it's starting to rise uh, and that kind of uh, growth very early on when it hasn't been around yeah it just makes me hesitant good news is the uh, market caps going back up and you know maybe the news from uh, Jerome Powell you know ha has helped with that but then again maybe it hasn't we'll have to wait and see you know but this is this is good and we have a look at the 24 hours Computers playing up a little bit, but there we go. Numeray up 40%. Uma 37%. So that's uh, you know quite a good move by them. Elrond going. Ampleforth, Decentraland, Yearn Finax, Synthetic Network. I mean they just you know regularly go up. Uh, they do have small pullbacks here and there, but yeah, I'm still super bullish on Synthetics Network. I I really have tried to wrap my head around what price this could possibly go to considering it has to do with the derivatives market and things like that. And from my understanding uh, is they have leverage trading coming. It's on the beta program at the moment, but I think it's coming to their mainnet very, very soon. And, you know, if they get into the leverage trading, you know, there's lots of money uh, in leverage trading and things like that. And as I've said, I don't leverage trade. It's not my thing. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever want to get into it. I, it just feels like something that you got to be pretty smart and you really got to know, you know, how trades work you've got to be able to really read charts and it's not that I can't read charts but maybe not as well as you know the traders and again you know the rumor is 90% of traders lose money and particularly people who are leveraged trading and things like that I would imagine so I don't know if I'll ever do that but it is still big big news for the synthetics network and again at the height of the bull run it would not surprise me if synthetics is worth at least $50 <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, $40 uh, US, uh, you know, $50, $60 Australian. But look, a 10x from here uh, at the peak of the bull run, considering we're talking about derivatives, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I think it could be higher again. It wouldn't surprise me if it made it to 100 or above. I'm not saying it's going to go to there. Uh, again, I'm, I'm going a little bit more conservative. I think it could definitely probably pull, yep, about $40 uh, US so that's you know maybe another sort of five six X from here but yeah we'll have to wait and see anyway plenty of good gains to be made even though uh, you know not a whole lot's happened in crypto for the last sort of little while but we go over to the chart and again we're still just ranging it's that roughly 11,000 kind of 300 the higher end of it to 11,900 or you know the higher end of 11,800 we're just ranging but this is forming a descending sort of uh, pattern here. So this could quite likely go down 
and I'm not going to be surprised if we bump off this ten thousand five hundred dollar level. I've said it before, uh, you know, I, I'm, yeah, I'm in two minds. Part of me thinks no, we're just going to trade sideways within this, within that range. Excuse me. Much like this. But again, we had this really good rally. And we haven't had too much of a pullback. I mean, this was a fairly good pullback, but it was a lot of wick, and it really just pulled down to the uh, the top of the original sort of run. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, you know, whether, again, we use, you know, what becomes, you know, support. This is still sort of support at the moment. It's not dropping below. So someone was obviously saying, right here, when it gets down to a sort of 11,000, you know, 300, 11,100-ish range, sort of in or around there, uh, it's being bought up very quickly. But we'll have to wait and see how long they can hold that. And if it can't hold, where it's going to find some support. Uh, my guess is, you know, something along here and, you know, whether we come and bounce off this outside trend line, uh, you know, again, I doubt it. I'm thinking more it's going to be the 50-day or this. But again, it could just be this and we could rock it and go from here, particularly with the news from the Fed, although, the, you know, the news wasn't really great for Bitcoin and it wasn't bad for Bitcoin. You know, it, much of a muchness. They didn't go into too much other than saying uh, they're going to let inflation, you know, get above 2%, you know. I'm, again, I'm, I'm not a, enough of a financial whiz to really know whether that's great or bad for Bitcoin. Uh, it is slightly concerning, though, because 2% has sort of been their limit that they would let it get to. You know, it would fluctuate up a little bit and also fluctuate down uh, a little bit below 1%. 2 to 1% is where they've wanted to keep it for a really, really long time. So if it was to fluctuate up to 25 maybe 3%, not too much of a worry, but you know, if inflation got to you know, let's say four or five percent, yeah, the ramifications are for the rest of the world. Uh, it's hard to know how that would play out. And, you know, a lot of the stuff at the moment going around is that you know, it's no one, you know, it's a ship that's not being steered by anyone at the moment. Uh, and again, I'm not enough of a financial guru to you know, you know, know exactly what's going to happen there, but it is concerning. Uh, you know, the overall trend of the world and the stock market just continues to go up and money just gets printed into basically oblivion, uh, you would have to think there's always a reaction for an action. So the action that they're taking now, there's going to be a reaction for it. Is it going to be a bad reaction? Most people are suspecting that's what it's going to be. But look, who knows, maybe it turns out to be the best thing ever and they were 10 times smarter than all the rest of us, although, you know, it's hard to imagine it's going to go that way. You know, not impossible. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I don't want to take up too much more of uh, the Australian viewers. Anyway, it's Friday night uh, and everybody else's, I guess, possibly sort of Thursday uh, morning or maybe even, uh, yeah, depending on where you are, could be any time, I don't really know. But it's Friday night for me. I don't want to be on here forever. And again, we're just watching for what's going to happen here. Will it just stay within this range or will it break to the upside or to the downside, really? Until something happens, a definitive move, yeah, we're, we'll all just have to wait. The altcoins are generally not doing too bad at the moment, although they bleed off a little bit when Bitcoin pulls back as well. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that game train and I'll see you next time.